Hello everybody, I'm Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a few weeks, I apologize. As you guys can tell, new background. I really do not like it, but it will have to suffice. I am still trying to get my new room put together and stuff like that, so yeah. Just, yeah. But as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it is yet another haul. I know I said I was not going to make my channel a bunch of hauls. However, I say a lot of things that I don't mean, so that's that. We're gonna just jump right into it. Some of you might already know that I actually, I work at Ulta. I'm a hairstylist there. And as an employee there, you are expected to know all the makeup products, all the hair products, everything that Ulta sells. So. I went ahead and splurged a little bit on some makeup. It's actually really not anything new, I would say, but it's like just things that I've been really wanting and saving up for. So I decided that I would show you guys in a haul. I recently went through my makeup collection and just wiped it out. I used up everything, threw it away, used up things that I didn't like anymore, just all of that stuff. So it was time to kind of revamp my makeup collection a little bit. It's over there, that's why I'm looking over there. But um, I did want to try out some new products and stuff like that and try out things that are really popular here on YouTube. So that's the deal. My intros are really long, I'm really sorry. So the first few things that I got, I, I kind of got separately. I got like a few days ago and then I got the rest on a different paycheck, I guess, if that makes any sense. So I'll just go right into the first few things that I bought. And we'll start with the ever so classic It Cosmetics CC Illumination Foundation. I love this. It is totally wearable, totally buildable, full coverage. Not full coverage if you don't want it to be. Like, it's just amazing. It has 50 SPF, but yeah, I ran out of my other one recently, so I was just picking this one up. And this is the one, this is the illumination one. The other one is just the regular, makes people glow, you know? That's what you want. You wanna be glowy, you wanna look great, you don't wanna feel like you have so much makeup caked on your face. Perfect, had to get it again. So that was the first thing. Nothing special or new, but I love it. And everyone should go ahead and get this in their collection if they don't have it already. Then the next thing, take a wild guess what it could be. It is of course my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Recently ran out of it again, so I was just going ahead and picking up an old favorite. I also used the Unique Fiber Lash, 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So I'll either use this one or that one. Um, or a purple random purple mascara that I got from Ulta years ago. So those are the only mascaras that I will use and probably the only mascaras that I will continue to use. I do not need anything else. I found my favorite and that is that. And I've recently been trying to get more into lipsticks. I feel like I wear the same kind of lipsticks all the time and I'm obviously into the nude kind of look. Just something that I can wear every single day with every single outfit. So I went ahead and got a Too Faced Melted Matte liquid matte long wear lipstick and this is in the shade it doesn't tell me cool girl that's the shade that it is you know i'm trying to build up my collection i'm trying to get to know different products and what they stand for and so far i do really like the Too Faced to melted matte lipstick it's nice and it doesn't like when it starts to wear off it doesn't feel crummy on your lips you know how it can start to dry your lips and feel crummy this does not do that so i do like that all right so those were the three items that i bought a little bit a while ago so i've been using them i know that i like them now we're going to get into the other items that i just bought yesterday i think it was so some of these i have used and are wearing on my face today and other ones i have not yet tried out or have tried from a friend or a sis my sister or something like that so um yeah i don't know if you guys want to do like a first impressions or something like see what i think about these products let me know and i'll film that first thing first First things first, I'm the realist. Awkward. Okay, so we're gonna start with, once again, an It Cosmetics product. And it is the It Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And this also has 50 SPF. And I was just looking for a new powder because I was using a Bare Minerals one, just that it was a gift that someone gifted me. And then I started using the Laura Mercier, which I love, but since it's a translucent powder, it's not really good for like on the go. So I wanted like a compacted powder that I could 
just real quick rub on my face and then go let me tell you this babe is beautiful i love it so i am the shade light as i am in the shade of this as well um which i find it blends perfectly it matches my skin tone perfectly summertime and and winter time i don't know how it does that let me know i don't know the next thing that i use on my face today and as you can see my highlighter is still glowing and that is it's nothing new but it is the urban decay all nighter setting spray and i do like this kind of stinks a little bit but that's okay because it has left my skin glowing all day i put this makeup on at like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's 516 so what do you know long lasting and then the next thing that i'm wearing today is yet another lipstick i when i swatched this i was like oh my god i love it so this is the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick and this is in the shade sepia yeah sepia um so i'm really into cool tones as you can tell by my hair and well not by my outfit today's kind of warm but usually i like cool tones on my on my face i actually can i'm more neutral so i can wear cool tones and warm tones but when it comes to like what i personally like i usually will air more towards the cool tones so uh, i've been trying to get more cool tone dark nudes and this one came up i saw this and i loved it so i went ahead and grabbed it um and my thoughts on it i do like it i like the consistency right we are just breezing right through this aren't we so the next thing that i got from ulta is a new Becca highlighter. So I already have one and it's like the really white one. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, so I got this new one. It is the opal shade. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers put this on their eyes. So I really like that. I like the way that it looked and it's like nice and shimmery on their eyes. Went ahead and bought it and uh, Becca highlighters are freaking beautiful. Let's swatch this baby. I know you ain't gonna see that. You ain't gonna see that. Oh, no, nope, can't see it, but just trust me, know that it's beautiful. And the next thing is something that I recently had but ran out of, and that is just the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't even opened it yet, so it's kind of like an unboxing in a way. Um, it just looks like this, just a regular black liquid eyeliner. I don't actually have any right now. I have a gel one by e.l.f. Or cream one so I have an elf cream one that I really like and that I've been using but it's like not quick it's like not easy to apply so that's why I have been needing a liquid eyeliner again I feel like that's just something that you use in your collection I don't know why I'm justifying the fact why I bought this cuz every girl has a liquid eyeliner but anyways I, I keep talking today so the next thing is the stay all day liquid lipstick and this one's a fun one. And I do have a Stila Stay All Day lip I already do have a Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick that I love and adore. It goes on like glossy and then dries matte. And if I leave it, when I put it on glossy and then like totally leave it alone until it dries matte, that shit will stay on 24 seven. No joke. I literally had it on one time all day, perfectly compacted. There was maybe one crease in it. Freaking amazing. So anyways, went ahead and got myself another one. And this one's super fun. Like this one's crazy. And it looks like this. It's in the shade Cam Como. In the shade Como. And it looks like this. I love it. <laughs> Let me swatch it. Actually, I think I have like leftover residue. That's embarrassing. You can tell it is this one so I'm so excited to wear this I cannot wait we'll move on to the stuff that I got from Anastasia so the first thing that I got is obviously what I already have in my collection I love it and I've been recently getting into eyebrows like I've been liking doing my eyebrows which is so rare I've never liked doing that ever in my entire life but now all of a sudden I do um, and that is just the Anastasia dip brow pomade that I repurchased I'm in the shade taupe because I like my eyebrows to look more up on the cooler side I keep stuttering and then I also went ahead and got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz it's still the shade taupe right, so I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube as well but it's just the Anastasia Brow Wiz I used to use this a while back and I really really liked it but then I went ahead with the uh, the pomade I swear there's a ghost in my room 
Do you guys hear that on camera? It was just like rattling. That was really weird because there's no movement aside from what you see. Anyways, I digress. I just, um, I recently want to get back into, well, I have like a system now, which I'll show you. If you guys want to see my eyebrow routine, let me know. It's like a system that I'm doing. So I'll use a little bit of this and a little bit of that and bada boom, bada bing. I mean, all I have right now is the pomade, but anyways, that's what I plan on doing. I kind of, yeah, I kind of, I kind of twisted around. I should have done all Anastasia together, but whatever. Anyways, so next thing speaking of brows again we'll try and kind of keep it in order I went ahead and bought the precisely my brow pencil by benefit have not used any eyebrow stuff by benefit the only eyebrow stuff that I've used is Anastasia um, but I want to give it a try because I don't know the girls the eyebrow girls there are like so cool and they do such a good job it is really skinny still so I do like that and I try to get the most cool tone of a brow pencil there. I feel like they were more on the warmer side, but that's what it looks like if you can see it. So it's, it is still kind of, it was the coolest shade that they have. It's the shade two and it comes with a little spoolie as well, like the Anastasia one. So I'm excited to try this out. I might just wear this one alone and see if I like it. Ugh, I'm, I mixed everything up, I'm really sorry. But I do have another Urban Decay thing and it is the eyeshadow primer potion, nothing new, but I just always need, oh, excuse me, that's so rude. I just always need a primer for my eyes because my eyelids get really oily throughout the day. So I just picked this one up as well. Should have went with my setting spray. I obviously did not plan this video, but anyways, we'll move on from that. Next is once again, something nothing new, but my sister has it and I love it. I love the way that it feels. I like the way that it is matte on my skin, which I really like matte because my skin is naturally oily. And it is the Too Faced Born This Way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and this is nothing new like I said I'm in the shade ivory but I tried it I bought it for my sister for her birthday and I tried it and I really liked it so I figured I would pick it up for myself the it cosmetics is good for summertime because it's like that really light wear and it has SPF in it and then I feel like this is good for winter time evening time kind of looks and the last thing I know I'm so late to the party to this that is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer I just got the shade light again it might actually be too light for me but that's okay because I'll use it almost as like a highlighter under my eyes so I'm really excited to use this I have not used this at all I'm not used to these kind of concealers because I see the work done on it YouTube, let me tell you. Um, and I'm really excited to try it out and try some new looks. And hopefully the under eyes will be concealed. That would be a miracle, wouldn't it? <laughs> all right, you guys, so that is finally it. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for subscribing to all my new subscribers. I apologized for not being kind of with it with the YouTube as I recently moved and trying to get my life in order. I feel like my life has fallen apart <laughs> these past couple weeks and months or years, I don't know. I'm also currently going through a little bit of a creator's block, so I have lots of things planned out, but just it's the actual idea of getting up and producing it. I don't know. We'll have to see, I need some inspiration. But until then, here's a quick little makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all the products. I hope that you guys check out some of these products. I believe it's all cruelty free. If not, let me know. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's become the best of friends. I'll get back to you in the comments a lot faster than I have been. And I think that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.